guys, it's me, Luna the Zen Witch here with an unboxing a day late, but there's a good reason for that. Today I am unboxing two decks in one. What's the difference between these two? One is legit, one is a knockoff. My daughter purchased this one uh, from a site that possibly came over Facebook. I know I saw one come over Facebook today, but these sites where, oh look, we're having a sale on all these tarot decks. Very cheap, how can you pass it up? And then the two decks came and I showed you those in the how to spot a knockoff video. Um, and particularly the uh, Deviant Moon one in detail. But now I purchased a legit copy of this deck. I, I feel the need and I think I'm going to have to purchase the le legit copy of um, Oracle Wisdom of the Oracle as well because having purchased this robs the authors of this <laughs> what is you know what they deserve and what's coming to them. So you see they're the same size here. With the Deviant Moon there was a clear size difference. These are the same. So let's just go side to side and look at them. Tarot Familiars. Let me take the plastic off of this one first. And then you'll be able to see it better. This is why I do things like this off camera for crying in a bucket. That is <laughs> ridiculously difficult to get off. And of course more ridiculously difficult because I did it on camera. Put that in the recycle bin. Okay, so here's the side. What do you notice right away? Mm-hmm. So, and I'm noticing too just how this is kind of not centered on this box because it's been a cut paste job. Difference on the back, you've got the QR code with the knockoff. It says scan to download guidebook. Um, that is a scanned pirated guidebook. So the image on the back is the same. What's missing here on the knockoff is this little thing that says copyright Lisa Parker. And here, illustrations by Lisa Parker, 78 colored cards and instruction leaflet in five languages because it's Los Garbeo. And we have the same deal on this side, kind of an off-center version of this. Top, bottom. Fournier, so the legit one says Fournier. And I'm noticing that the barcode is the same here. But what's missing from the knockoff is 2020 Napes Heraclio Fournier S.A. Todos Le Derechos Reservados. All rights reserved. Fabricado y distribuido, distribuido por Naipes Heraclio Fournier S.A. Paul in, in Spain. Okay, so Fournier is for, for, however you pronounce it, Fournier. Um, is in Spain, made in Spain. This one doesn't say that either because it can't because it was probably made in China. So let's go in. Here is the knockoff deck. And the shiny that you're seeing on the edges is my tape treatment that I do for these boxes so they don't fall apart. So the backs do say Lisa Parker. Let's look at the legit. All right, the, um, another difference, the knockoff doesn't have this little thumb hole for opening the box. So the first thing we notice is, looky, there's a book. And it's not an LWB, it's an LBB. It's got a little black cover on it. Okay, so we get the copyright information and all of that and this book that um, opens this way. We have Spanish first, then English. Let me unbend this a little bit so it will lie flat. Spanish, English, French, Deutsch, Portuguese. We go to, okay, the English starts on page 21. What is Tarot? So um, you get the major arcana with keywords and a short description. 
of upright and reversed, and then we go through the minor arcana. And then we have a diagram of, ooh, what's this? Um, the answer of the Celtic cross, 11 cards. Okay, so I, I'm not sure why they, but anyway, there's a Celtic cross instruction. Now, we get with this deck a facing card, which we did not get with it. Oh, and this I didn't notice is this deck. Um, can you see this? Can you see this crease here? We've got cards that clearly have been crimped somehow. All right, let's get back to the legit. So we have Tarot Familiars. We get the facing card. We see the backs, but look at this. Okay, so, wow. Now I'm looking at the back of this one. Look, some, there's something on there. Makes me want to smell it. There's like a white powdery that can be scritched off. Um... We also see that this image is a little bit larger on the back of the knockoff than it is the real deck. And look at the color difference. We certainly have a big difference in color. A lot less saturation. Okay, so we have that. Then we have another face card um, that just says Lisa Parker. It's got the copyright on the bottom and it's got the same thing that's right there. Now... The cards are the same size. Actually, uh, the cards themselves are thicker in the knockoff deck. Do you see that? Whiter on the edges and thicker. So, interesting. It'll be interesting when it comes to shuffle because these feel a lot less bendable than the actual deck. All right. So now we've seen that the difference, you know, they're framed the same. The cards are exactly the same size, um, a little bit rounder on the edges on the knockoff deck. But now we're going to set that aside and actually review the deck. All right. After I take off my sweater. It's spring. <laughs> hot then cold, then cold, then hot. All right. And let me zoom you in some more. And, oh, my camera is going to start flipping out because of this cloth. Lord, I guess I, I need to keep my hand in the picture or keep something that it can focus on in the picture. And then it won't be flipping out so bad on the cloth. Will that work? Okay. Good. Because that's maddening. Um... And it just says, I can't use this cloth on camera. Wow. I wonder if it would do the same with the silver side. At any rate, the fool, le bataleur. We have a cat and a jester's hat. So the black cat, the quintessential witch is familiar. And I want to see if they say anything about um, just, you know, the idea of the deck. All right, we have what is tarot. Uh, all right, there is absolutely no description at all of why um, this deck was created. Card depicts the archetypes, the origin isn't known, probably the Book of Thoth, the Book of Life, the Hermetic Tradition, Esoteric Tarot talks about the Kabbalah, the 22 majors, and then the 56 minors. There are theories concerning the positioning of the Fool card, blah, blah, blah. Um, a strange fascination emanates from Tarot cards. Each individual reacts differently to them. No one will, no one will, however, forget the first time he was faced with them. Tarot cards can unveil your problems in the subconscient. <laughs> As the American expert Eden Gray says, the magic is in the cards. Whatever you achieve with them, it is your image in the mirror of self-accomplishment. All right. Wonderful, but there is no description of why this particular deck was created around familiars, what even a familiar is. I mean, it's called Tarot Familiars. 
but there's no mention. Do they mention it when we get to the actual cards? Let's see. The Fool represents the spirit, signification in the normal upright position, folly, mania, extravagance, delirium, frenzy, insecurity, frivolity, passion, enthusiasm. Card in reversed position, negligence, absence, bad decision, indecision, apathy. Again, no mention whatsoever of what's depicted on the cards. But we see a black cat, the quintessential witch's familiar on the fool. And another one on the magician. And look at the magic coming up out of the book. I like the images. High Priestess, another black cat. So we've got three coming out. Shoot, boom, boom, boom. Makes me happy. How about you, Pi? Is he up here? Pi Wicket! See if I get my baby boy up here. My husband is painting, and Pi is tremendously interested in that process, so I probably won't see him. Interesting. Look at the change in color. We go from blue, and the Empress is brown in background. Look at the different, okay. So we have different border colors on these. I don't think there's any significance to it. And if there were a significance to it, they're not going to tell you. So, okay. So there's High Priestess. There's the Empress, which is horses, a horse and a foal. The Emperor. So if you think about, you know, the Tarot familiars, that these would be the familiars for each of the major arcana. And we have black cats for the first three. Then we've got horses for the Empress and a stag for the Emperor. I'm liking that. King stag. We have a black cat and an owl for the Hierophant. The lovers is Red Riding Hood and the wolf fascinating um all right let's see if we mention any of this i know we won't but you know me represents the balance between two forces so i like that um there is a just a succinct phrase for each one um the lovers represents the balance between two forces so there we have it red riding hood and the wolf I'm not going to go any deeper than that. The chariot is a unicorn. Justice is another black cat. And there's a box, a locked box. And the little ticket here says Pandora, the tag on the key. So it's saying be beware what you're going to let loose, you know. Okay. The hermit. Another black cat. Look at the pentagram. Wheel of Fortune with a Ouija board. The strength card is just a wolf. The hanged man is the raven on a skull with a pentagram. Death. Ooh, look at that kitty. That's like a McGibby. Gilbert, he's a cow cow kitty. He's a black and white. Tux kitty. Okay, death. And there's a an hourglass. Temperance. We've got the unicorn now with the baby. Now, so I want to say again, as with a lot of low Scarbeo decks, um, you've heard me make this complaint before that it seems like, um, and I'm saying low Scarbeo, it's not, it's Fournier. But, you know, possibly European decks. But as, I, you know, the complaint that I have with a lot of Los Garbeo decks, I'm having with this one as well. It seems like someone said, ooh, let's do a deck like this and commissioned the illustrator, but then didn't really flesh out, you know, I mean, they're saying illustrations by Lisa Parker, but we don't say... Who did the writing? Um, so it could be the same thing where we just kind of take some stock meanings and then we get an illustrator and slap those stock meanings on like the early U.S. games decks did with the, you know, Arthur Waite or the um, Stuart Kaplan, sorry, writing. Temperance, the devil is another wolf. A wolf with a very bear-like muzzle. The tower. 
So we see lightning striking and the owl coming away with a scroll. The star is three kitties, mackerel kitties. The moon rabbit, there's the bunny in the moon. The sun is another rabbit, is a hare. So we got a wabbit and a hare, I think. Who knows? No one will say. <laughs> Judgment is a cat doing a tarot reading. I wonder what deck they're using. Or getting a reading because the cards are facing you. We've got three of swords. We've got death. I don't know what that one is. We've got the moon and we've got the ace of pentacles. Interesting. Judgment. And as a reader, you have to make judgments. Okay, the world is an owl. Now we have pentacles and a big, beautiful wolf with the triple moon around. I love the images. Ah, now we have pip cards. All right, so we'll be whipping through these quickly. So we have an image on the, and there's no keywords on the pip cards. So you just have to know what they mean. Let's see how the deck deals with these. And also, I mean, imagine what a pain in the ass it's going to be then if you if you get this deck and it's your first deck and you're learning the meanings and you don't even have a book to hold in your hand. You have to go scrolling to learn the meanings. That sucks. Okay, so they have swords showing up first in the book. But last, I mean swords showing up first, yes, in the book and pentacles first here. Okay. And we go through them in backwards order, so wow. Okay, normal position, difficulty in launching new projects, difficult situation arising, new troubles, worry, concern, preoccupation. And we don't have like a single phrase like we do with the majors. Okay, so there's the three, the four, the five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now we get the knave see how they deal with the courts. Study, deep concentration, application, reflection, respect for science, philosophy, bearer of news. The knight is mature, responsible person. The queen, wealth, generosity, security, liberty, grace, dignity. And the king, a person of character and intelligence, mathematical ability. So you just have to take these and learn them. And I, I don't know if I have another Fournier deck. I'm going to have to look it up now. All right. In the meantime, the owl is with the cups. Interesting that we don't have a water familiar with the water suit. And I'm just going to go through. I mean, look at the difference in colors. It, there really is an interesting difference there. All right. Let's go through all of the cups and set them aside. Then we have the knave, which is little baby owls. The knight, that says pendle. The queen on an orb and the king with the books and a quill. Okay. Swords. And I, let me see if we'd get a, a general for the suits. No, we don't. Um... Yeah, swords, it just starts right in with the king, goes down to the ace. There is nothing that tells you the suits represent particular elements. Very, very little to nothing. I mean, it gives you like the history of Tarot, where it comes from, but we don't get any mention that the suits represent elements or anything like that oh my all right swords we have a raven and we go through all of them here's the knave with a key the knight squawking the queen's taking flight and the king oh, with a cross okay then we have wands. We're back to the kitties. That's kind of interesting. That looks like it was copied from a wand that I actually have over there, which I think was Hermione's wand, but interesting. So we have a wand and a book. 
instead of just wands. Then we have cats again. There's the knave, the knight, the queen, and the king. Okay. Not super impressed so far. Let me take a look at my document here and see if I have another Fournier deck. Um, just for shits and giggles, you know. And here we go. Stop that pulsing. Camera. Find all. All right. This is uh, Yi Jing Dead Moon. All right. I remember having an issue um, with that deck as far as just meanings and things going. The artwork is fabulous. The deck and the, you know, conforming to Yi Jing, not so much. All right. I'm going to keep this right there. Come on. That is maddening. I'm not going to undecorate my desk. Okay, let's give them a shuffle. Lovely. Let's also light my... <laughs> let's open the box of matches upside down and dump them all over the keyboard. Oh, for crying out loud. This is kind of hilarious because energy lately has just been stuck and stalled. Everybody that I read for has the same question. Where's my motivation? This is us one year into a pandemic, folks. This is us exhibiting symptoms of CPTSD, of chronic stress. Symptoms of chronic long-term stress. So let's first invite allies and ancestors let go come on open up guides and guardians invite you in please come and be with me i offer you fresh water come help me uh pull some wonderful meeting meanings and readings out of this deck i appreciate your presence here i offer let's see first of all i'm going to do a little bit of sage Usually don't do it on a charcoal, but what are you going to do? All right. So I offer a smoke cleanse to remove any excess or deficient energies in all the elements. Remove any energies that are stuck with this deck from its place of origin and the book as well. And while I'm at it, I'm going to cleanse the knockoff. Hey, look at the difference in the colors here. Um, so the, the, yeah, the suits, two, three, all right, so it seems that the different suits have different color borders on them. All right, it's very easy to tell with this. But yeah, I hadn't noticed that the cards are bent. Those first several are bent. All right, be cleansed by air and fire. Be blessed and made whole by water and earth. And I send with this wishes and blessings to the author that... The knockoffs be stopped so they can get paid. And I'll tell you, I saw one go across my Facebook feed today, and it was, um, you know, we're having a sale, and the decks are like half price. They show them listing for $30 and selling for $15. And I went and looked at their website. The website has only been up since April 2nd. And it talks about, having a QR code and a download. So I reported them to Facebook and I will every time. And I don't know what the name of the site is. I suppose I, okay, wait a minute. Let's call them out here. I am going to call them the fuck out. As soon as my Chrome loads, I can keep my hands in camera so you guys don't go 
get a headache from all of the pulsing going on. All right. I'm going to look in my history and see what the name of that site was. Um, it's starsandsigns.com. Okay. The thing I didn't find, and I'm going to keep looking for it. So if you see stars and signs come across Facebook, it is a bogus site. I am looking for their web hosting service, service because if I can find who is hosting their website, I'm going to contact them as well and tell them, you know, these people are in copyright violation. And that will violate the terms, their terms of service with their web host, and they'll get kicked off. So I am on a mission now to do my best to take down these sites that are bootlegging and pirating copyright com content. All right. So I'm going to ask today what we can do to regain our motivation. What is it that we can do today and here now? Um, I'm asking for three cards, situation, action, and they're telling me five cards, and they just spit out this many. <laughs> so we're going to go here. Oh, and the thing I didn't do is offer my Fire of Azrael. That both of these decks, regardless of origin, that they may both speak truly and I don't think I water and earthed these okay <laughs> all right here we go well we've got pictures on each king and knight and a queen um three different suits courts from three di three different courts from three different suits wow <laughs> King of Pentacles. Okay, normally we talk about King of Pentacles being somebody who's very trustworthy, someone who's uh, materially oriented, very good with money, has a lot of money. Um, Knight of Cups usually indicates an offer of some sort of emotional support. And Queen of Swords indicates past wounds. So let's just take them one at a time. I'm asking how do we get our motivation back? La la la. Wait. There we go. Pentacles. Okay. King of Pentacles says a person of character and intelligence, mathematical ability, loyal friend, reliable in marriage, successful businessman, wise investments, and experienced and successful leader. All right. Knight of Cups. An invitation or opportunity may soon arise. Arrival, advancement, attraction, challenge, proposal. So situation, I mean, character and intelligence, loyal friend, reliable in marriage, these are things that are describing a person rather than a situation. So we are going to use the rest of these cards and get clarification on all of them. I'm going to spread these apart a little bit. I'm going to take myself down a little bit more. So, offer, and then Queen of Swords is a sharp, quick-witted, intensely perceptive, misfortune, loneliness, reversed, okay, that's the reverse position. So what I'm going to do is ask for a clarifier and put it right in between these two. We have Nine of Wands here. Um, this says expectation of difficulties and changes, awaiting tribulation, anticipation, hidden enemies, deception, discipline, a pause in a current struggle. Okay. So where are we at? We're feeling um, the difficulty of the position we're in. We're in duck and cover mode. We are awaiting, um, sorry to get topical and not timeless, but here we are. We are waiting for um, a verdict in the Chauvin trial, the murder of George Floyd's trial. So we're in duck and cover. We're anticipating another surge of the virus. We are um, dealing with people that are saying they are not going to get vaccinated. And, you know, people who are ref still refusing to follow protocols, wear masks. And um, there's a, another huge surge going on in um, 
in India. Brazil is still under it. So this adequately describes um, <clears throat> so we're kind of, you know, responsible people. And we're in duck and cover mode. We're waiting for this this offer, for something, um, for some good news. An invitation or op advancement, okay, or a challenge. It's like, are things going to get better or worse? We're sort of waiting for this. And then... We have the Four of Cups here. Weariness, aversion, disgust, infelicity, stationary period. <laughs> okay, so this does adequately describe where we are right now. We've got this, we're, we're stuck. We're in duck and cover mode and we're stuck and waiting and we're dealing with, you know, is it going to be good news or bad news? Um, Queen of Swords says we're, we're anticipating bad news. I've got three more cards that flew out here, so let's see what we get. And this is also an example of how sometimes you you have a specific spread in mind and the cards create their own spread for you. Six of Wands. Take them one at a time. Travel, voyage, <clears throat> route, attempt through difficulties. Expedient manner and success. So this is the victory card. So we say that we, we have victory here. Then we have the Eight of Pentacles. If we work at it, you know, we've got work to do. Fast apprenticeship, craftsmanship, candor, frankness, modesty, effort. I mean, think about the Eight of Pentacles. It shows somebody with their hands on the tools at work. So it's saying there's work to be done. And then we have the Ten of Swords. Okay. So what I'm getting from this... I mean, we've got victory, but then we've got, like, abject defeat here. At the center of it is just work to be done. All right, let me see here. We can kind of wrest victory from the jaws of defeat here if we take responsibility if we uh, rely on our better angels uh, you know our better nature if we let our good character come to the fore we can have victory um, knight of cups here talks about offering reaching out okay this idea of of reaching out with an offer um, to help people, helping people get connected with vaccines, helping people um, in the struggle that they're in right now, reaching out to people that you know. Um, good time to check in with people. And this talks about doing the work, that we, we are still in an apprenticeship here. We're learning on the fly, and we have more learning to do. But then we go over here. Queen of Swords talks about being discriminating. To me, she always talks about the wounded woman, somebody that's got baggage from the past. To me, in this um, sense here, this is acknowledging that we can be experiencing actual symptomatology because of the circumstances we've been under. Not necessarily from being actually sick with, the, with COVID, but because of the circumstances the pandemic has forced on us. And Ten of Swords says things get as bad as they can get. Let's read their meaning. Ten of Swords, ruin, pain, desolation, misfortune, grief, trouble, disappointment. All right. I want one more. I want one more. Ten, oh, and they're giving me several more. Three more. All right. Ace of Cups, Temperance, and the Lovers. Oh, my goodness. Balance between opposites. Let's see what they say about temperance here. The Ace of Cups says there will be a new beginning. We have to let things play out. We have to acknowledge the grief. Oh, God, tears coming up, you guys. We have to acknowledge how hard this has been. We have to acknowledge 
the failures that we've witnessed and the trauma that we've witnessed and that we've experienced. I want to see what their phrase is for temperance. Represents self-control of the mind. This is a balance of, of two forces, of opposing forces, things coming together, and this is training the mind. So we really must be aware of what's going on in our minds, what stories we're telling ourselves. Um, I've been addressing this in the last couple of days, just the you know, the, the symptomatology that we might be dealing with can be in the form of just negative thinking of just this, you know, dark and dire um, storyline that comes through our minds. And, and in my case, it's been about just me personally, because I've been so stuck. I did a tarot reading for myself and I got the hermit and the seven of cups and the hanged man in the category of here's what's here's what is you know and it's like yes being hermity and waiting and what can i do there's so many to trying to find something to inspire me so ace of cups says the new emotional reset comes when we deal with what is when we acknowledge the grief process when we acknowledge the immense amount of stress we've been under and how traumatic that has been when we bring the mind into balance and find something else for it to focus on whether that's a mantra practice a prayer a meditation a project um you know doing something new just something to engage the mind away from its default setting right now of gloom and doom story and then the lovers here says we bring the opposites into balance let me look at that one again la 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 get me there kind of hard to go through the book um all right the balance between two forces love beauty unanimity trials overcome confidence beginning of a possible romance infatuation tendency towards optimism so this is talking about we deal with it and then we have a new beginning of optimism where we're feeling hopeful again um you know we had that rush of hope and then we're dragged back down into the reality of the situation um infatuation falling in love with something in your life again letting oneself go the necessity of testing or subjecting to trial interesting struggle between sacred and profane putting to the proof yearning okay so this just talks about being attracted to your life finding something that attracts you for the moment that helps you get through this particular time that we're in um but Ace of Cups in the center there at the end is wonderful. That's good news. That says the reset is coming. Hang in there. That hanged man. Hang in there, everybody, is the main message. But in the meantime, please acknowledge the depth and the impact of the trauma that we've been through and the stress that we've been through. That's the way forward. All right? Good grief. Well, the deck certainly reads, but it reads mostly because I know how to read a tarot deck. I mean, looking up the meanings are going to be something. This is not a deck I would start with for anybody because there are no pictures. Even the ones that have pictures, they are not illustrative pictures. They don't illustrate the meaning of the card. They're just an animal you know, nice animals. So if you are an adept with Tarot and you have all those uh, meanings internalized because the, the meanings they give with it are pretty standard, um, by all means, this would be a deck for you. If you're not, if you don't have that stuff, then no, don't do it. By all means, also do not buy a knockoff of this deck. And I charge you to, uh, if you haven't watched the How to Spot a Knockoff video, please do that. And I charge you with being watchdogs with watching on Facebook if you you know of course if you go and look for, at a tarot deck on anything in Chrome you're going to get that coming through your Facebook free feed look at anything that talks about tarot sales go to the site check out and see if it says there's a book with it if it doesn't if it says there's a QR code to a PDF report them to Facebook and get them booted 
get them booted off, folks. Help me clean out. Help me do a cleaning out here because Facebook isn't interested in doing it on their own. So, all right. I hope that was informative for you. It certainly was for me. Uh, please, if you would like to send me a gift deck, you can click down below. And um, there's many, many, many to choose from. <laughs> this is no longer on the list. Uh, if you'd like to send me a donation, I welcome those as well. Nothing is too small. If you'd like to join my Patreon, come on. There's only a few of us there, and you get your, they're learning how to be astrologers in depth. So uh, thanks for hanging out with me, everybody. I hope that your day is going well. Please be kind to yourself. Please keep up your protocols and uh, take a day for self-care, at least a day, you know, to take care of that person that's been under so much stress and has walked you through every single day of this pandemic. Okay, I salute you for that. I will see you next time. Until then, this is the Zen Witch. Blessed be. Mm -hmm.